With its many unique features and characteristics, the animal kingdom is full of surprises, including those creatures that appear to be able to defy death. This shows us that death does not have to be the final destination for some species. These are seven animals that can live after death. Number seven, flatworm. Now we've all heard the line, you can't kill me from movies and television shows. But we know that's a lie even if a person is hard to kill, they can still die. It's just harder to do it and oftentimes very annoying. But with the flatworm, we may honestly have a creature that is straight up impossible of to fully kill. For example, you may look at this worm and say, well, I'll just chop it in half. Well, go ahead. It's going to regenerate from both ends. And soon enough, you'll have not one worm, but two scientists believe that this all has to do with stem cells. A very popular topic amongst researchers and scientists, flatworm stem cells are found all over the worm's body, but they do have to travel long distances in order to get to the wound. The stem cell is only about one micrometer in length and has to travel a distance of a thousand to 10,000 times greater than that. The cells do have to interpret differences in the wound signal, which is likely very weak over such a great distance, and yet stem cells still do manage to get there. After conducting research on flatworms, scientists are so confident in their regenerative ability that the only way to apparently kill one is to infect it with a disease or completely destroy it through means like incineration. Some even state, that if one was left alone completely, it could actually live forever. Number six, the immortal jellyfish. Here's another creature that's defied logic and science to reveal a certain immortal status so emphatic is its ability to live that they literally dubbed it the immortal jellyfish and for good reason. Reason number one is that the only way to kill it is through physical destruction, as in being eaten by a predator and brought to a stage where regeneration is not possible. Reason two, if it's not completely destroyed or if it's just injured to a certain, or it feels like it's about to die from something like starvation, that's when it gets to work. In this case, work is literally rewinding the biological clock so that it can go to an immature state, not like how people get immature and tell each other off, it goes to a previous state and its life, and then lives it out again. So basically, it's like if you were an elderly person, right before you died, you reverted back to being a teenager. You'd have all of your knowledge, but your body would be young, and you could live your life once again. That's what this jellyfish species does over and over and over during the course of its life. No one understands how it fully does this or what allowed it to evolve to such a state, but needless to say, scientists are studying it vigorously because they truly feel that this creature could be the key to immortal life. After all, bearing outside forces, there's no reason to think that it can't live forever. Number five, tardigrades. Now I've shown you animals of all sizes that can come back from death or near death with ease. But now let's get to the microscopic element and talk about a creature that can endure pretty much anything that the wild can throw at it. This is the tail of the tardigrade. Tardigrades are famed amongst biologists for their ability to survive conditions that would kill almost any other animal which includes being dehydrated, launched into space, and even crashed into the moon after all that, they're still alive. Despite their tiny size, they're complex animals built of maybe a thousand cells, but they're equally as complex as a cockroach or even a fruit fly. And you've already seen how cockroaches will survive anything. Tardigrades are so capable that they can actually survive multiple states without batting an eye. Dry them out completely well, they'll still live. Biologists did that for the moon ones that I just spoke about they can also be frozen to near absolute zero without any issues and can also be put in boiling water without fail or fear. They can survive thousands of times, as much radiation as we can and even endure the vacuum of space. Going back to that dehydration state, that's called their inactive state. And they're so good at surviving that they can actually survive as shriveled up husks for years and then be given water and pop right back up like it's nothing. You just can't kill these things without an extreme amount of effort. Number four, lungfish. There are many animals in the world today that are known as living fossils, and these are beings that have outlived everything from prehistoric times, despite being there themselves the 
It's more than just having a survival instinct that's being able to endure extinction level events. And for the lungfish, they do this with an ability called excavation. Now, this is a variation on hibernation where the lungfish will actually bury itself in the ground and use a special mucus cocoon to protect itself when it goes dormant. And when it does go dormant, it can survive in that cocoon for quite a long time. It'll even eat its own muscle tissues in order to get the nutrients that it needs to endure for however long it has to go. This creature has lived on the earth for an estimated 400 million years. And death is not something that just happens to the lungfish. Number three, flies. Now I'm going to talk about one of the most annoying creatures on the planet. Seriously, these things are so annoying, but I don't need to tell you that you've had to endure them yourselves over the years. Here's where the twist comes in. Flies are easy to kill in the physical way, and especially if you have a fly swatter or a flip-flop, but they have a short lifespan. They can endure quite a bit in the nature sense if allowed. Flies can survive freezing temperatures and go into suspended animation. You can freeze them for days without giving them any heat, and they'll simply come back as normal. Also, the females they'll live for several days after they've been decapitated. Such beheading females assume an upright stance, comparable to that of a normal fly, and can engage in complex actions like preening and flying. It's weird, and now I hate them even more. Number 2. Praying Mantis this one is pretty crazy, so just roll with me on it. The praying mantis is one of several species of the world that have a particular form of cannibalism that they partake in. In this case, they eat their mates after they're done with them. If you get my drift, this is very horrifying, and you'd swear that males are definitely dead and they are. However, the remains live on in a different way. Scientists have found out that when it comes to the females, eating the males after that special cuddle. The remains of the males that are eaten don't immediately get digested by the female's body. Instead, they're used to help ensure that more eggs are laid by the female so while the male is gone, his contribution to the cause lives on in the next generation in more ways than one. Number 1. Fruit Flies Not to be confused with the flies that I talked about earlier. Fruit flies are another example of an annoying pest living far longer than it should under lethal circumstances. First off, just trying to hit them is a challenge because their vision will see you coming. And then you'll have to deal with the fact that they're in the air and they can literally turn on a dime to avoid you. Like other flies, they can survive being frozen and they can even survive being baked in a microwave. But that's not all as an episode of Mythbusters would prove fruit flies are actually more capable of surviving nuclear radiation than cockroaches further showing how they just will never die. So if you do get an infestation of them in your home, well good luck with that. Were you weirded out by some of these stories that I shared with you today? And which of them did you find the most disturbing? Are there others that should be on this list? And have you ever come back after death? Let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen and I'll see you next time.